hello guys welcome to this video in this video we will start customizing our theme we will customize our header this box right here is called header this one is the content and this one is the footer so let's start customizing it this video is very important if you if you want to customize your theme okay log into your wordpress admin panel now go to this sahifa option click on it now here we have all the settings related to our theme our header settings archive settings post settings and all the settings that we need okay so you don't need to go anywhere else just click on this and here is all of our options where we can customize our theme so let's start with the general settings in the general settings we have theme layout and we have three layouts that is framed boxed and full by default it is framed the the uh, layout you see here is framed in framed you see header is separated with the content content is separated and footer is also separated all of these are separated all right these are not combined if you want these to be combined all you need to do is click on boxed in boxed we have all these combined so let's check this out boxed make sure you save changes all right let's refresh and you will see all of these will be in one box see now these are all combined header is combined with content and footer is also combined so these are all of in one box if you like this layout you can choose it if you want okay so next thing we have is the favicon favicon is very important thing on the website you see this little icon here this on the title bar this is called favicon okay i have up i have downloaded two pictures we will use one picture for our logo this is a sahifa logo we don't want it we want our company logo to be here i have a, a picture that we use as a logo but you can uh, create your own logo if you want if you know how to work with photoshop or you can buy logo online if you want so i have a logo that we will use here and this icon here on the title bar is a favicon so in the general setting we have custom favicon option and let's upload the favicon i'm gonna click on upload upload files select files and i have two files one for logo and one for favicon and let's upload the favicon right now okay let me see here is the favicon you see we will i will use this picture as an example for favicon open and select and when i will hit save changes and you will see it will change uh, when we refresh it save changes now let me refresh and you will see favicon will appear here see this is our favicon okay so after favicon okay i will cover only those settings that we really need in our theme i will not cover any extra settings because we don't need it i will cover only those settings that are important for our blog covering extra settings will only just waste our time because we don't need any other extra settings so on the general setting what else we have okay we have time format forget all these settings we don't need them okay so next important thing is this time format we have three options here one is traditional traditional time is like uh, 5 september or 5 november or 15 november 2015 that is traditional but time ago format is like 10 minutes ago or two days ago let me see here you see this post is three days ago this post is also three days ago so this is the uh, time ago format but you can also choose traditional if you want so let's choose and see what uh, how it looks like okay i'm gonna refresh and you will see the traditional time see november 15 2015 so this is the traditional time you can also disable it if you want but uh, it will not be a good idea so keep it time ago format okay so let's ref save changes okay wait, let me see what else we have in here to cover okay next thing is breadcrumbs so let me uh, tell you what breadcrumbs is so if i open this website it is a uh, breadcrumbs sorry not a breadcrumbs <laughs> breadcrumbs i always pronounce it wrong so this is the breadcrumbs home health this post is related to health so this is the breadcrumbs okay we are from the home page we are in the health category and in the health category we are on the post this post is related to the health so this is the breadcrumbs so this little sign is the breadcrumb sign you can change this sign if you want to change this sign 
all you need to do is put the sign here whatever you want right now the sign is this so let's change it to greater than and let's save changes and you will see this will be changed okay let's refresh and see now this sign is changed so this is what breadcrumbs do okay you can also disable breadcrumb if you want but I recommend you to turn this on okay so we are done with the general settings in the next we have the header settings and in header setting is related to this header right here this area from this to this all of this is in the header we can change this in the header we can apply our or upload our logo we can change this menu all of these will be covered in the header settings so thank you guys for watching this video we will start working on header settings in the next video